Mr. Glump in the Poisonous Pond. It was summer vacation, and I skipped into my yard. I could see my neighbor spraying stuff everywhere. What you doing, Mr. Glump? I asked. I'm trying to kill the dandelions, Mr. Glump said. Man, when I see a dandelion, it makes me ill. I gave my mom a bouquet of dandelions on Mother's Day. I told him helpfully. Humph, said Mr. Glump. So what are you spraying? I asked. A special flavored water? It's flavored all right, said Mr. Glump with a wink. Flavored with poison. Ha 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 ha! But, but, animals crawl over the grass, rabbits run in it, and the poison will reach the pond. We have a pond just behind our yards. It's full with turtles and beautiful clear water. Well, I'm not spraying the pond, am I? snapped Mr. Glump. Just then, Mr. Glump became a little careless with his spray nozzle, and flecks of poison hit my clothes. I stepped back. Look, said Mr. Glump, it's not your business what I do in my yard. I'm not hurting anything. Now scram! Three days later, I was making mud pies by the pond. Look, I cried. Mr. Grump, look at the green slimy stuff on the edge of the pond. I remember now that it had rained just a few days after Mr. Grump sprayed his poison. I turned back to Mr. Grump. All your poison was washed into the pond from the rain. Look how dirty the water is. Relax, honey, said Mr. Gump. Geez, are you ever uptight? The water's green, right? That means it's plant food. The fish will gobble it right up. I bit my lip, but how do you know what if the fish gets sick? Mr. Gump looked at me with small green eyes. I have a garage to clean and a fence to paint. I can't all with you all day. By the end of the summer, the whole pond was green with slime. Look, look, I cried at Mr. Glump. What now, shouted Mr. Glump. All the fish have died in the pond, I cried back. Well, it's not my fault, said Mr. Glump. It is your fault, I told Mr. Glump. You think you know everything, but you don't. I went to the library and I read a book about this. So, said Mr. Glump. And I learned what all that green stuff is. I answered, it's called allergy. I read that allergy grows in ponds after pollution is added to the water. Will I never spray the poison into the water, said Mr. Glump. I only spray the grass. Yes, but I told you that rain would wash the poison into the pond and you wouldn't listen and kept spraying all summer long. Well, the fish can eat the algae, Mr. Glump said. I hope the fish get food. They can't eat it all, I said. When the leftover algae dies and decays, it sinks and sucks all the oxygen out of the water. If there's no oxygen in the water, the fish suffocate to death. They can't get any oxygen into their poor little ragged gills. So look, they are flopping over and dying. I pointed at the sad looking pond. I should Mr. Glump my book. But all Mr. Glump said was at least I don't have any the lanes in my yard. Then he walked off. I was so mad. I told all my friends about Mr. Glump. We all went to the library so we could read everything about algae. We are going to start the Dayline Appreciation Club. So people won't kill them. Megan Killing all the fish in the pond. Just because you don't like a 
white, yellow, a little flower.